Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone and welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. Now let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. Divine Feminine, um, you two, when you two were in love, when you uh, really trusted your Divine Masculine, you two were in a very um, serious relationship. You may have talked about marriage. You may have uh, thought about engage, uh, engagement, that sort of thing. And this Divine Masculine, um, they, were, they were somebody who really... Like you, you really fell deeply for this divine masculine. There's something about their style. Um, they're very beautiful. They're handsome, cute, that kind of thing. Um, so you were really um, attracted to them. Uh, physically attracted to them, and I mean, like that's natural right like if you if you like your divine mask then of course you're gonna feel attracted to them but here it shows that there was a strong like attraction to this divine mask and this mask and has this very unique features where you were just you were in in awe of their beauty and you found them beautiful and same thing, vice versa. Like this Divine Masculine found you very beautiful. And they may have even said something like, wow, you have beautiful eyes. Like you look beautiful. Like, And I, I don't think like it came as like a regular comment. Like you were talking and then they said, you know, you have very beautiful eyes. It wasn't that. It was like out of nowhere. Like one day, it's just that they said, wow like you are beautiful like because they think about it a lot but it's like this masculine didn't express it like they were not somebody who just says it says it says it it's just that they keep it in they think about it a lot but then when it came out it was like wow like <laughs> like i see it here that they were really in awe of your beauty so that's the first thing i notice here it's something about physical attraction to natural beauty and then another thing that I noticed is that this Divine Masculine, um, when they were with you at the time, they were serious about you only, okay? So they, when they were with you, they were serious about you. But I see here that this is not a Masculine who has always been loyal. There's something about this Masculine who comes off as a player type energy here. And I, I do see here, it's showing here, uh, playful energy. I'm going to be honest. This is what I see here. So for whoever this resonates for, it's not going to resonate for everyone. This is a div divine masculine who is who has a very playful energy, meaning that they they are in and out of a relationship, like, and they've been in many relationships, like they were in and out of a relationship very quickly. And when they were with you, like, they found you very beautiful. They found you as, like, wow. Like, this this Divine Feminine is, is very different. This Divine Feminine is very beautiful. And I don't think it's only the, the physical appearance. It's something about you they were just attracted to. And I think it has a lot to do with um, your energy. For them, it was more of, like, oh, it feels like... I like their style, like their demeanor, but it was actually your energy that, that attracted them to you. So, again, they were in, still in that playful energy. They are a little bit of a flirt. You may have even experienced a little bit of that as well. So, they may have been a little bit flirty towards you. Um, I don't see Divine Feminine as like being um, being someone who who says too much about masculines um like when they flirted with you you didn't say much in return it's like you may have thought like that's like you may have blushed a little bit but i don't see you like taking part in it like you didn't really react to it much and 
I think it's because you were more focused on on the relationship itself. Um, you were not really focused on like you didn't really care for that playful, um, flirtatious side of Divine Masculine. You appreciated more of the emotional side, like the the genuine parts of Divine Masculine. So the times when Divine Masculine was like their authentic self, like and you got a, you got a little bit like of a, a snippet of like what it felt like and what it looked like when whenever Divine Maskin was giving you a genuine compliment or whenever Divine Maskin was um, speaking their their mind like if they had a certain thing in mind and they want to express their feelings or their thoughts like those kind of things meant more to you than this flirtatious kind of behavior and it's not that you didn't like it it's just that you didn't find it and like of any importance so you didn't pay much attention to it but there were times when they did say something that was like flirtatious where it made you kind of like smirk or blush and it's because it's like you didn't expect what what they said because it was something you've never heard before and you may have even laughed like <laughs> like you may have been like wow well, that's the first time I heard somebody say that or the way they that they said it like they the flirtatious uh, part of them there's a little bit of humor in there so I do see that this divine feminine may have laughed a little bit once in a while but it's like most of the time you just didn't really it's not that you ignore them it's like you just didn't give much attention to it so why is this coming out in this reading so much it's because this divine masculine because of that flirtatious that playful energy they had a habit of doing that um when it was not appropriate so i'll explain why so say if you two went like to a restaurant right and then you ordered something and say the waitress was you know somebody who is like maybe your age and who is maybe beautiful right and rather than being like you know focused and loyal to divine feminine they thought that um, being being flirtatious in a in a in a funny manner would would be okay. Like they did it in a way that it looked like humor, but it was still flirting with the um, like the wait waiter or waitress, right? So this this divine masculine, the way that they were um, expressing themselves, it you you felt uncomfortable by it. And I don't think you said anything in the beginning because, again, it was the beginning of your relationship. But um, what they doing, what they were doing, you didn't like it. Like you didn't like whenever they they use flirtation in a comedy way in front of others. You felt like that's not that's not appropriate, especially if you two were dating. It's like I'm here. Like don't you see I'm right in front of you? Like why are you saying? those things to that person or you don't even know them like and and the masculine I think the reason that they do do that or why they did it is because they like that um attention that they got like um so the reaction that they would get from the other person and at that moment they didn't think about your feelings they didn't think about what you would have thought so I see here that that was a problem in your relationship that this masculine had a very flirty kind of comedy style to them where they didn't they disregarded your feelings and your emotions they didn't see how it was embarrassing or that it hurt you in some sort of way and yes embarrassing because i see that you were embarrassed by it. it's like this is your man this is your you know your masculine you guys are having like this nice you know outing together and then they are giving full attention to somebody else it's quite embarrassing and and i see that it made you sad because it's like the focus came off of you and it shifted onto somebody who is not even someone they know and I don't think it's, I'm giving the restaurant or the waiter um, as an example, but that's the best way I can explain it. But the attention went to someone else and, 
and it be, it was part of their kind of like um they felt like it was part of their personality but it was actually a habit a seer that it was a habit that they needed to break and emotionally um they were not truly invested in your relationship and i see here that it's because of that playful playful energy so that's what that's what broke the relationship that's what broke the connection because masculine was not ready to be in a connection with their divine counterpart they were not ready to be in that role of the divine masculine i see that this masculine um was not accepting their full responsibility as a counterpart they were taking it as something very lightly they didn't they didn't understand and they didn't um they didn't have as much respect or gratitude towards the connection or towards divine feminine at the time so this is the reading for today i hope you like my readings if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up and thank you all for watching have a beautiful day bye everyone